Hi everyone and welcome here today to my video and presentation about this Jeep Wrangler 2008 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited X four doors four wheel drive and it's a dandy it's a beauty the sun is coming in and out of the clouds but I really want you to see the paint on this um, see the metallic steel blue metallic just like it sounds it's kind of blue kind of gray very patriotic very American there's the sun a lot of metallic and metal flake in it it is very very good looking classic iconic wonderful wonderful Jeep 152,000 miles clean history clean title nice nice vehicle first thing I want to talk about on this is this when you see this coming at you the other direction on the road it's unmistakable what that is right everybody should agree with that even if you're not a car person you probably know that this is a Jeep this is the front end of a Jeep this is a Jeep Wrangler even if you don't quite get the whole thing but you just see the grill right it's one vehicle that hasn't changed very much when you go back and look at the 1940 first Willys. It doesn't appear very, very much different than that. Of course, it is largely different, but the general shape and design isn't that much different. And what other model has been around for 80 plus years, 84 years or whatever? I mean, you look at cars today, you can't tell the difference between a Kia and a Honda and a Toyota because they all look the same. This is unmistakable as to what it is when you see it. This particular Jeep is amazing. It runs perfect. It drives perfect. It has a lot of new parts I'm going to tell you about, including these beautiful Cooper Discoverer AT3 tires. I love a white letter tire on a Jeep. I picked these out, had these put on here. They are brand, brand new. They're the perfect hybrid of on-road and off-road ability. I mean, unless you need some real heavy-duty mud terrain tires because you're gonna go bury it in six feet of mud, this will do the job. So, very, very nice and good looking. Very clean inside and out. Every single thing works on it. Air conditioning works great. It has not been smoked in. It runs and drives perfectly. The Freedom three-piece hardtop is beautiful on these Jeeps. Personally, I would rather have a hardtop than a soft top because it's quieter, it's nicer looking, it has tinted windows on the back, you get a rear wiper on the back, the front panels come off very easily. It's just the best of both worlds. This is truly a vehicle that is fun in the sun, fun in the snow, it's just fun all year round. It is so easy to take off the doors it's extremely easy to take off these front two panels. I assume if you're watching this video, you probably know, but these front two panels come off very easily. You can see the line right here. It's like a T-top on an older car. They have latches on the inside. Very, very easy to take off. So, take another walk around the other side here, and then I'm gonna get into telling you more details about this. It's in, I believe, I believe, excellent condition for its age, for the mileage. It has very few flaws, okay? Very, very nice. And it's all stock. The only aftermarket on this Jeep that's ever been on it are these off-road driving lights right here, Delta brand. Uh, they're real nice, they're real sturdy, they're well-mounted, they're sturdy, they don't move. Um, these work. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. They are very, very bright. They do a great job of lighting up the road ahead uh, extremely well. That's the only aftermarket thing on it. These are the factory wheels, factory bumpers, factory step bars on the side. Excellent, excellent all the way around. So another thing I wanted to say here in the beginning is that Jeep owners know that Go anywhere, do anything is not just a campaign slogan, but it's a way of life. When you see Jeep owners, when you drive the other way against the Jeep owner, 
you're always, almost always going to get someone waving at you. You leave your Jeep in a parking lot and someone puts a duck on it. It's like a whole culture of another people that respect each other and like the fact that each and, other, each and, each and every one of you have a Jeep. So my mom has had many Jeeps. I, I'm very, very familiar with the brand and, the, and all the models. My mom has had many, many over the years. I've owned a few myself personally as well. Um, just simple, simple, easy to maintain, low maintenance costs, great reliability. You know, all of those reasons are why the Wrangler in particular holds such great value because people like them. They had, style doesn't change much. This doesn't look much different than a newer one. And it's just easy to take care of and maintain and it doesn't cost a fortune. So listen to how quietly it runs. Air conditioning works perfect. So let me tell you about the new parts on it. So like I said, all four of these tires are brand new, okay? And then I took the best of the tires that were on the vehicle previously and put it here to the spare, which is very nice. A perfectly great spare. Firestone Destination AT2, All-Terrain 2. Um, this is a perfectly wonderfully spare, wonderful spare, and it's better than the original spare, which was on there, which was the original spare. So too old, that tire is much newer, much better. Uh, along with the new tires, all of the tire pressure sensors were replaced. And when I say all, I mean five. So right here, uh, all four on the vehicle, plus the one on the spare, they're all brand new, as well as all of the lug nuts. So all of the lug nuts are new because this style has a tendency to swell. And once they start to swell, they become difficult to get off. It's just something that happens because of age, nothing else. So anyway, just better, easier, no hassle for you. Uh, to uh, for the future, so replaced. All new lug nuts, all new tire pressure sensors, all four new tires, the best tire on the spare, and alignment, okay, was also done. On top of that, um, it has a new serpentine belt. Uh, transmission mount was a little weak. That got replaced. Uh, a leak detection pump, which is an emission item, so that was replaced. Uh, the driver rear wheel bearing had some noise or something. That got replaced. Um, a new pinion seal, which is kind of common, kind of a big deal. New valve cover gaskets, also common, kind of a big deal. Uh, not really that big a deal, but a good thing that they've been replaced. Uh, again, that's valve cover gaskets. That's an oil-based gasket, not a head gasket. Some people get confused. Um, a new starter was installed simply because the valve cover gaskets leaking oil had leaked onto the starter which made it risky for it to potentially fail so just went ahead and put a new starter on it to make sure no problems for the future. Uh, the new lug nuts I mentioned and of course a fresh oil change and an alignment. The brakes have 80% remaining on the front and the rear so the brakes have plenty of life and then the other thing that was replaced under my care which oh here comes the sun got to keep showing you that paint in the sun the other thing that was replaced that's really really common on these jeeps are the door hinge um pin, door hinge um bushings sorry i was thinking pins door hinge bushings uh especially the driver's side door because it gets the most use this one had a little bit of sag to it and you can get a whole kit to replace them all that's what i had done because it just makes it easier for when you want to go take off the doors in the future. Uh, they will come off very, very easily because now everything's been replaced and new and lubricated correctly. So all four doors, door hinge, um, door hinge bushings on all four doors. And then on top of that, same problem with the real rear tailgate because of the weight from the spare tire. It's often that this hinge wears out that holds the rear tailgate. So this is also brand new and replaced. Uh, this is not a genuine part, but supposedly, upon my research, supposed to be better than a genuine part, more strong, more sturdy, looks nice. You know, it looks correct, and I really liked it just because of the stars on it. It looks very, um, looks like it belongs. Looks like patriotic, looks like it belongs. So both of those also new. So. You're not gonna have any problems with that, which most people would experience problems with them at some point if you haven't already, especially at this age. 
So all four doors and the tailgate, all the tires, the tire pressure sensors, the transmission mount, the serpentine belt, the leak detection pump, the driver rear wheel bearing, the pinion seal, the valve cover gaskets, the starter, the lug nuts, and everything else. So a lot of lot of new parts, nothing that you're gonna have to worry about for the future. On top of that, these AVS window shades are also new. Uh, you can't buy these singly, and these have been on there for quite some time, the previous ones. There was a chip out of this on the driver's side, uh, so I got a new set and these are brand new. So all four of these, brand new, very nice, installed correctly, look great on the Jeep. So very, very nice. It is 100% ready to go. It's ready to drive. It's ready to enjoy, okay? I pride myself on that, showing you exactly what it is, anything that it isn't, any kind of flaws, absolute transparency, but the biggest thing being that it's turnkey, it's ready to go and enjoy. That's why I like to present a car. That's what I'm doing with you right here. If you like what I do, ring the bell, subscribe, give a thumbs up. Also, use the comment section, please, as a discussion board, leave a comment for me to engage with me. Leave a comment for others, for other Jeep owners, for your friends. Uh, use it as a discussion board of sorts to talk about your own experience and ownership of your Jeep, perhaps. Um, Next, I'd like to show you uh, flaws on it, which, I mean, I really don't think there's a, a whole lot negative to point out. Um, that bump front bumper has a little mark here, a little, little bump probably right there, a little bump here on the corner, a little right there. Um, Rust-wise, I think it's very, very acceptable, but this has a little bit of bubbling right here on the fender, as you can see right there. Um, it carries right over to here. There's a little bit of bubbles right there, right below my finger. Um, only on this fender, not on this fender. So, I don't know. I've seen it before. Uh, not exactly sure as to the, as to the why. Um, these are common to get dented um, because of the mirrors. When people uh, swing the door around too far, the mirror will dent these pieces. These have not been dented. These are still very nice. Um, what else? Um, oh, real common to rust right here on the rocker. Uh, this has none on both sides, so that's a positive. However, do have some rust bubbles um, right here at the back underneath this hinge. Right here, a little bit of bubbling, and right there. So. Just letting you know, I think if it's kept clean, it's kept nice, shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, it has the hitch with a uh, connector for wiring, and the top is in really good shape. Really, really no marks or chips out of the fiberglass on this top. It is very nice. Let me go up here. Very, very nice all the way. Again, easy, easy to take off. The front two pieces the windshield's in great shape um, it has been replaced in the past but that's very very common on these jeeps uh, but there's no current chips or nicks or repairs or stone chips or anything like that um, all right let's uh let's take a look at the inside and then we'll take a look under the hood and carry on from there i i, I don't believe there's anything negative about the inside that i uh am going to tell you um door panel nice shape uh, these are rugged ridge branded um, floor mats in the front uh, it's missing the little rugged ridge emblem but they are in fact that I know that um, driver's side seat is real nice clean firm bolsters nice here it's it's comfortable to sit in it's comfortable to drive the bolsters are nice and firm on the back um, here's the top on the inside you can see those latches um, Right here, just easy, you just flip them and a couple of latches in the front and they're very easy to take these off. Now, when you go to remove the rear section, you do need a friend to help you with that. It's not really something you can do by yourself unless you install a hoist in your garage. This has uh, the Infinity sound system with the sound bar. You can see the speakers here across the center, right? Pretty simple and basic, but 
it's nice. Uh, console here, good shape. Nice big storage down there. Couple cup holders, very functional. Four wheel drive lever, four wheel drive works perfect. Um, couple power outlets. Simple, easy to use climate control. Once again, AC is nice and cold. No funny smells or anything like that. Power windows, they all work. Original radio, infinity sound. There's an aux input here on the front. Um, you can see here now, nice clean glass. Yep. Uh, steering wheel is in real nice shape. Um, no anything nothing wrong with the stitching it's nice and smooth I mean there's a little bit of wear right here across the top but it's very very minor it's still nice and clean and smooth and and uh, and not sticky or anything like that so very nice cruise control right there um, headlights fog lights I'm gonna turn these on because I want to show you those once we go around and then this switch right here turns on the the bright driving lights in the front so you can see the fog light indicator right there Compass and temperature, south, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you can see average fuel economy, which is probably way off. Distance to empty, timer, and back to that. Um, let me close the door. There's the mileage, 152455. It does have a full tank of fuel. I've had people ask on previous videos, does that gas gauge work? Yeah, sure it does. I always make sure it's full. You fill it once, for marketing the vehicle and for someone to look at it and buy it and then they have a full tank of gas. So there's that. Uh, dashboards on these don't usually have any issues but there's the dashboard. It's nice. Little tweeter speakers in the corners. Um, nice firm plastic hard visors. No issues there. The roll bar of course padded. This is factory. This padding on the on the roll bar all the way around. Love these factory running boards. I think they look nice and just really complement the vehicle. Back seat is super clean. There's nothing negative here. Barely sat on. It's in great shape. Rubber mats back here as well. A couple cup holders. The backs of the seats are really nice. Um, seats fold down really easily like that. And then the headrest goes backwards, which makes it really easy for a one motion uh, fold. Same thing on that one. And then back up, really, really easy, very functional, very versatile. See how nice the rockers are here. Rear door. Oh, I'll, I forgot to mention that. Also, that's a brand new gas cap. That's a Jeep branded gas cap. I did forget to mention that as another new part. Um, push here and open our tailgate with our nice new hinge it will stop right there lift the window and here's the cargo space plenty plenty of space back here padded roll bar all the way to the back the infinity south system has this subwoofer back here so that's nice um, down here Another little cubby compartment, and then the spare tire jack and tools are right here. So there's a little bit of rust right there. I mean, this is a common place to get wet. Wet things get thrown in here. It just is what it is. Every Jeep I've ever seen seems to be like that, unless it's just been in the garage and never gone anywhere or done anything. <laughs> um, this is nice, the tailgate. I mean, this has been used. It's a used vehicle. There's a few little dents in the metal here, but still uh, still good. The hatch window uh, struts hold up just fine. So close that and then watch how easy this closes with that nice new hinge. It's no sag, so it shuts very nicely. <clears throat> clean clean all the way uh here's this seat if you want a little, little heavier a little more effort to fold that one as it's a little heavier but there you can see a lot of room once you fold these down a lot a lot of room for sure and back up pretty easily i did that with one hand
passenger side seat really nice as well firm everywhere nice nice clean no issues Uh, and there's the rugged bridge floor mat on this side. <laughs> this one's missing the emblem too, but they're still very functional, still work just fine. So nice that the doors, if you know these, you know that the door thing is a real common problem and it's really nice that the doors just open and close so easily because when they don't, you have to either exert more effort or when your driver door sags real bad, um, when you get to about here, you have to lift up to get it to close. But this closes perfect. So, very nice. All right. Here we are under the hood, and you can hear how it runs. See how clean everything is. You can tell the air conditioning's working because you can see the lines sweating right there. Also has a newer interstate battery that tested tested good, so it's good. You can hear the AC compressor cycling on and off. Bottom of the hood is very clean, nice. Just gonna um, cover it right here. You can listen for a moment. not going to be very easy. I love the simplicity of closing a Jeep hood as well. Boom, done. Uh, it's so bright and sunny. I mean, you can't really tell, but there's the headlights on. There's the factory fog lights, and then I've got these lights on. They don't, of course, look like much during the day, but they are very, very bright at night. Very, very bright. Um, I have driven it on some real dark streets, and it's actually, <coughs> excuse me, it's actually quite amazing. The uh, off-road lights are potentially brighter than the headlights because they just quadruple the lighting in front of it at night compared to the regular headlights. So pretty amazing. And of course, because they're higher, they cast a further light out further in front. Oh, there you go. The sun went away for a moment. You can see them a little better, but they work great. Nice little addition. So. Um, all right, so we've seen the outside, we've seen the inside, we've seen the lights, we've seen, we've talked about all the service work. Again, um, I will make a separate video of me driving it. So if you want to see that, you want to hear my feedback, you want to hear my thoughts about drivability. I mean, of course, it's not a Cadillac, but it does drive as nice as any Jeep should drive. So I will make a separate video of me driving it. Take a look for that on my channel, join along, check it out. Again, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I also wanted to show, turn, on, turn off the lights. Um, I also wanna show underneath as best I can because I know it's something people always wanna know about. So um, let's see here. We'll just kinda of go around here so you can see the frame and some of the parts of it. 
there's no issues of it um, but I just want to be able to show it you can see the water from the air conditioning there so there you go it's been undercoated and looks nice um, I mean there's nothing wrong with it but it's something that people always ask about on trucks or jeeps so I just want you to have a look Beautiful wheels and big, big tires. Uh, let's see. Exhaust. Trying to trying to show you as much as I can here without without removing tires. Oh, let's see, right here. Hopefully I've shown you what you want to see there. Let me get down the front too. Hear how quiet all that is. Uh, let's see, this is plastic. <laughs> Hopefully that shows you everything you'd like to see on this Jeep. So thank you for looking and joining and letting me tell you about it. Look at, there's the sun, there's the beautiful paint. Uh, let me tell you all about it. So take one more, oh, so good looking. So good looking, doesn't look its age at all. All right, everybody, check out my driving video as well. I appreciate your looks, appreciate your views. Subscribe if you like what I do. And uh, thanks so much for joining along. We'll see you next time. Peace, bye-bye.